Ross Stevenson, and I wanted to talk to you about the late, great John Singleton, a longtime friend of mine who I met when his career just began. As a matter of fact, I heard about John before he made Boys in the Hood, which was a phenomenal success in 1991. I had been working with Bill Cosby in a film directed by Sidney Poitier called Ghost Dad. One of the young men in our film was Omar Gooding. And his mother said to me, oh, Roz, my other son is an actor too, and he's getting ready to star in a film with a young black guy from USC called Boys in the Hood. Well, I thought she was talking about a student film. But later I learned that this young man would be the youngest person ever to be nominated for Best Director for the, most, for the Motion Picture Academy. And he got a second nomination that year for Best Original Screenplay. That was John Singleton, only 25 years old. That film was Boys in the Hood, and the star of that film was Cuba Gooding Jr. Is the story that, that you told in Boys in the Hood your own story? Well, well my, the story in Boys in the Hood is just a catalyst for me when I went to live with my father. Mm -hmm. I went to live with my father when I was 12 years old. My father whipped me into shape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, <laughs> straight up, yeah. you know, made me. I did too, I was 14. Fathers yeah. have a way of doing yeah, that. They, you know, uh, yeah. it made me mow the lawn and take out the trash, stuff like that. Actually, I, one of my I favorite. I never had to do, you know. One of my favorite <laughs> lines in the movie is when, um, oh, this whole audience, again, has, has uh, seen the film, is when uh, Trey goes to live with his father and the little boys are out on the lawn and he offers them some money. The father offers them some money. Larry offers them some money yeah. to, to cut the lawn and they yeah. say, who, and he offers them $5 and they say, man, who you think we are, Kunta Kinte? <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. that line. Well, I think that's what's so wonderful about your film is that it is, an, I think, just an excellent portrayal of a of, uh, uh, middle-class black father, not uh, lots of money, not driving a Benz, just, just a strong just black a man. Just a hard-working brother that, that, yeah. that cares for his son and, and, you know, cares how his son is raised. When I lost John, it was like losing a family member. You know, he, he was my link to, to Hollywood and, and everyone I met, everything was through John, my first thing. A huge platform was through John's blessing and and he instilled in me so many codes that I'm gonna use for my career going forward. So it was hard on me, but at the same time, it was um it it, it gave me a, a deep sense of focus uh, going forward to make him proud. And I think that that moved through the whole crew and, and I think that's why season four is it's even that much more special because we know everything we do is for John. My name is Justice Singleton and I'm the eldest child of John Singleton. I unfortunately couldn't attend this event with my grandmother, but would like to thank you all for honoring my father, John Singleton. My father was a visionary who believed our stories combined with filmmaking could empower and uplift our community. Today, because of his vision, black filmmakers collaborators and mentees of John's have excelled more than any of us could imagine. For that, I am grateful. And I also wanna thank the support and efforts of my grandmother, Sheila Ward, for safeguarding his dreams and being supportive of my own. Though this Black, Black History Month Visionary Award goes through my father, John Singleton, 
I know that John would be grateful that his mother is accepting it. Have a good time in Palm Springs. Thanks. To the dark and the end of the skies. And the first Okay.